Biobutanol is produced from the same feedstocks as ethanol fuel, including corn and sugar beets. The difference is that biobutanol, a second generation alcoholic fuel, possesses a higher energy density and lower volatility when compared with ethanol. In this laboratory, Shihi Liu, associate professor at the College of Environmental Science and Forestry, or ESF, leads a team of researchers who are separating hemicellulose found in fresh hardwood through a hot water extraction process which served as the solvent, avoiding the use of any other added chemicals. The process is commonly known as hydrolysis, explains Liu. And in the process, we don't do any detoxification. That's uh, unique in this lab here. He describes the unique nature of this approach, which consists of experimenting with different strains of bacteria that can effectively ferment sugars, including glucose and xylose, extracted from wood into biobutanol. We do a hot water extraction. And during the extraction, we take out the hemicellulose and convert the hemicellulose uh, into sugar and then into uh, butanol. And the re remaining woody biomass would be mainly uh, cellulose, and that part is uh, very useful as well. A lot of applications depend on cellulose, and cellulose uh, can be also converted to or hydrolyzed to sugar and uh, then converted to butanol. Liu and other researchers in the private sector believe that biobutanol is more efficient than ethanol in producing energy, so they are looking for a wood-based liquid fuel that can be pumped into automobile gas tanks. Uh, right now we can produce butanol at, at reasonable yields and reasonable concentration. Of course, we want to see that to go higher. Ethanol, says Liu, is less efficient and harder to mix with regular gas while butanol can be pumped right into the existing gasoline pipeline or distribution infrastructure. Butanol is easier to transport because it, it does lack uh, water as much as ethanol does. Since the state of New York has abundant wood, ESF is working on producing alternative biofuels from locally produced resources. The wood the team of scientists uses here is mostly from the sugar maple species. This process is applicable in all, the sta all 50 states in the United States. We would have uh, taken a lot of carbon dioxide from the air and stored above ground. Okay. Now the green comes from the use of wood, woody biomass, to produce butanol. According to Liu, this real biofuel has little or no impact on the food supply. Biobutanol also can compete favorably with $100 a barrel oil. Uh, they are, uh, Quite a few organizations in the U.S. and universities are researched into uh, this area as well. And for example, uh, Kansas and also uh, Michigan and uh, also California. They all have uh, research labs doing the building of research and also uh, uh, USDA lab in Peoria. Biobutanol, stresses Liu, offers several advantages over ethanol that is usually mixed with gasoline in a combination known as E10, or 10% ethanol plus 90% gasoline. This is the butanol we produce from the lab at BSF uh, in bioprocess engineering. There are more than a dozen companies in the nation focused on developing biobutanol on a commercial scale, but Liu's research is supported by the U.S. Department of Energy and the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority. The work of the agencies and academia aims to optimize the process to eventually go from small scale to mass production.